subscribe to Live and Create. Southwest vibes strong. Ooh. As I was coming up on the season of the blanket coat trend, I was inspired by the blanket coat blanket stitch trend. Didn't know what I was getting myself into here, but I tried it out and I definitely like the way it looked with this pink thread. So and actually it's not really thread, I should say that yarn I had for literally ever. Also for the pattern of this jacket, I did use a pre-made pattern that I had. It was gifted to me by my mom's friend and she had like a whole box of, well, like two boxes of entire patterns. So I did use one of those and then I kind of modified it to make it my own. Okay, I traced the pattern onto a big piece of paper. I wrote that with scent marker. I found this in our drawer that we probably had since like the maybe middle 2000s. God, oh, it definitely does not smell like water. Melon, this is the back. I made it long because I want it long. Now, I'm going to do the front, but I do want to make an adjustment to the front. So this goes like this. I want to make the two pieces in the front middle kind of come to the side a little bit. And I think that would be a really cool touch. Tan mucho papeles. I'm scared, but I think it's time. And I'm being vague and cryptic. And what I'm talking about here is cutting out my pattern. So, give me the bravery of an army. And let's do this together. Oh! What was that noise? <laughs> this pattern and then this pattern are two different things, but they both have to work together. I don't know why, but I just kind of blindly assumed that I would definitely have enough fabric for whatever pattern I was doing. Or maybe it's because I got too into the pattern, but I realized that, especially because this design has to be perfect and symmetrical, that these pieces were not going to fit. So I did have to finagle my design a little bit. Why? Why? Future. Future. All right, so after mustering up, that's a weird word, muster, all the fake confidence in the world, I started cutting out my bodice pieces, and then I did something crazy, because my sleeves were not going to fit on this fabric, so I cut the sleeves into literally four pieces, so right under the armpit and then in half. So there are going to be four pieces for each sleeve now. <laughs> If you make a coat, make sure your blanket's big enough for your pattern piece, okay? Oh. 
Now, back to our regularly scheduled programming. After we absolutely massacred our blanket, it's time to slap the pieces back together. Oh, the blanket was not big enough. Before I made the pattern, I didn't look it up. <laughs> oh! So the one thing about this pattern piece is there was a little dart for the shoulder. So what I did is I just cut a little bit away from the tops of my two shoulder pieces so that when I stitch it together, it would kind of make a rounded shape around my shoulder because these sleeves go all the way to the neck. So this was the point of no return where I am blanket stitching this entire thing. So this is kind of like a variation of a blanket stitch because typically blanket stitches are just done on the outside of a blanket, not used for a seam. So I am kind of like modifying it a little bit by just going through two pieces of fabric that I put on top of each other. So, you know, if you want, maybe like look it up. <laughs> so I just started with my two shoulder pieces for each arm and I made sure that I put both of the back pieces overlapping in the front so that there will be symmetry on the entire jacket. Woo! Hello! My studio got a disaster just like that. Who's surprised? Nobody. 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 Beep! Ding 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 You guys know what I'm talking about? There was these toys that are like a cartoon show called Boomba or like Biba and there's these like blobs like these colorful blobs with arms and legs and they'd be like Biba. This idea sounds a little crazy if you have no idea what I'm talking about but I swear to you this is a real thing and they were flying around and they're making weird noises and the whole thing was just giving weird ass vibes so I'm gonna link a video in the, in the description and you're gonna watch it because that shit is so weird. <laughs> Uh, it's fun though. I used to watch it as a kid. I think I still have a toy. Hold on. Oh my god. Oh my god. Hopefully I can find this. I found it. I loved it as a kid. And maybe that says something. What it says, I don't know. Um, so this is like an ancient vintage. No, I'm just kidding. Ancient. Whoa. Slow down there. But an actual toy. Vintage, are you ready for how weird this is? Okay. And you guys, it still works, watch. If you press the hand. Diva. And then the foot does it too. A little pitchy. <laughs> it like farts, I don't know. <laughs> well, that's your fun random fact of the day. Okay, now I'm doing the bottom part of my sleeve. There's two pieces for the bottom and two pieces for the top, so yay. And that makes four. Good job, everybody. It's a new day. Woo! And it is super nice outside. And by super nice outside, I mean, it's 36 degrees Fahrenheit. But it's sunny, and that Colorado sun can biggity, 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 bake you. you. The Colorado sun is like, push, it's like lasers. When you got some hand sewing to do, you better, you get, better your get your ass, your ass out, 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 sun. out, sun!
Let's go back inside. Woo! What I was doing is connecting the top sleeve to the bottom sleeve pieces. So now I have one whole sleeve made of four pieces. Woo! Remember that math we did? Oh yeah. Okay, I have to figure out how to make a belt, pockets, and a collar. I have very limited amount of fabric left, but right now is not the time. So what do you do when you do a project and you don't know what you're doing? You think about it later. No, I'm just kidding. Speaking of thinking about it later, now it's time to put the sleeves onto the sides of the jacket. I didn't even know this was gonna happen like this. Look. Ooh! That made my night. Look at this. I can't believe that matched up like that. It's meant to be. What's meant to be is meant to be. And what's meant to be is finishing up sewing the sleeve to the bodice. It snowed so much, we gotta save the trees! If you're from a place that doesn't snow, this is what saving the trees is. We got more trees to save. Let's do this. Let's hang it.
looking kind of cool. Yeah. There's something like very like kind of haut couture about something like this. You know, just like. <laughs> Anyway, so up next was a super long side piece. So I went up the side body, through the armpit, and down the inside of the arm. I did use multiple pieces of thread here like I kind of have been secretly doing and just trying to be mindful or like inconspicuous as I can with the knots, okay? No one's really gonna care. Oh my God, that turned it into an actual coat. I'm so excited. Now what I have left to do is to make the dreaded collar i tried drafting a little collar piece but it was not working at all so i here's one of my attempts look it looks so sad i cut it out with separate fabric but anyways it took me a couple of tries to get the collar right <coughs> after spending a long time messing with the collar situation i kind of gave up because i made like three of them and none of them looked right so what I did is I was just like, you know what, I don't know what the, to do, so I'm going to go through my scraps, <laughs> see what I have. And I ended up pinning, this is just pinned, like random shaped scraps, like there's like an extra piece. <laughs> random shaped scraps, and I think I made something cool. I want it to be worn open and closed and look good both ways. So, check this out. It's like a, a two piece collar situation and so I'm wondering if I could just make that work that looks really cool so since I cut out every single piece symmetrical that means my scraps were symmetrical too so what I did is I sewed the pieces together to make each piece of the collar so there's two collar pieces four total and then after that I decided to move on to something else because I was intimidated by how to hand sew two collar pieces onto one thing and make it all seamless so I just did the whole bottom and sides and made sure to leave a little slit in the side for some walking room. I worked up a little bit of courage to work on the collar and I decided to cut down those weird scrap like pieces that I had to something a little bit better and then I went ahead and sewed both the pieces down and woo I still need to do the edge but oh my god. Right now I'm just doing the edge of the sleeves so for the sleeves and the bottom all I'm doing is just doing the regular blanket stitch I guess because it's not really a seam it's just a regular blanket stitch on a blanket on a coat yay I'm almost almost done I've actually been working on this for a really long breaking time I'm just like kind of worried that it will unfray um, but there are like little white threads, so I hope that doesn't come back to bite me in the rear. <laughs> I think it's so funny when people say rear. <laughs> oh. All right, so I figured out a way to do the collar all together. I kind of just did it on one side. So I sewed through three pieces of fabric and then on the back side, I weaved in or crocheted in the edge of the string to make it look like there's like a blanket stitch there so i think that was pretty dang smart of me not to toot my own horn or anything okay so i had a little bit of a loca, loca idea, idea for the belt i had pretty much a rectangle of fabric left so i cut it into these even strips and then what i did is i pretty much just sewed them together with my actual sewing machine on the sides so that it created one long you know belt thing <laughs> and it kind of worked holy moly i can't believe i got this much string on me needle so then i started the blanket stitch marathon which was going around this whole belt which was probably like more than a yard long i don't even know it took forever Oh, baby, that looks so good. Yeah. 
Okay, final touches here is to make belt loops. I just use this cream part of my scraps because where I want to put it is cream so that it'll blend in. And then I just sewed it with my sewing machine a little bit because I know it'd be a high traffic area. And then I sewed it down with a blanket stitch on the top and bottom but left the sides open so that I could pull it through. I am almost done. Except I keep seeing little white threads that haunt, haunt me. me. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I am pro pocket, but this is the only piece of fabric I have left from the blanket. So I have to figure out how to make pockets. In order to make it symmetrical, I just decided to make it like kind of narrow pockets. So I just cut it down a little bit and I sewed it to my jacket the same way. So I sewed the sides down but left the top open so that I could put like my phone in there or whatever. Oh my gosh. Now this last part is me having a little bit of mania about the potential threads that were going to fray or that I thought were going to fray because I don't think this blanket was exactly the type of blanket that you could use for this style. I think I could have and probably should have, you know, months after having it done maybe stitch the edges or gave it a surge or something to you know put my mind at ease but here's me just trying to go ham to prevent any you know unsettling situation of happening <laughs> i haven't worn it much because you know it's summer <laughs> okay so i just pulled out a couple buttons that i kind of like i have like so many buttons button, button, but but uh, <laughs> Anyways, it's just hard to pick one that matches like the vibe. You know what I mean? I'm like having the hardest time making this decision and I don't know why I'm just like I cannot commit to things like this. This one's kind of pretty. I like that one. Definitely smell better basements. There's a weird smell in our basement that we don't know what it is. But anyways, so I was trying to make the hole for the button to go through on my jacket, but then Mr. Dylan was pranking me the whole time by <laughs> putting all these clips on me. <laughs> Dylan. <laughs> no. Bad Dylan. Bad. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> What's all that, buddy? Oh my god! <laughs> look at that! It's the new look. <laughs> oh my god! Do it! <laughs> Buttonhole. You put it on. This is the final touch.
Yeah, give me good finish. Juki. More like dookie. Hey. Does it work? Yeah. Okay. That's my new surgery. Here we have step bro. <laughs> You can't step on my pedal. Yeah, you can. Where did you even get that? <laughs> Alright, hopefully it works. Hey! Wait. You know what I mean? Thank you.